Here is Ors for the first episode of Digging, Digging the, the Fuzz. <laughs> Hey hey Fuzzers, Tangi alias Mr. Fuzz here. So today I'm psyched because we are doing the first episode of the Digging the Fuzz series where we are meeting with Burns from the Fuzzy scene. Know more about them, know more about the people inside the bands, hang around with them and have them play for us and show all of that in those little videos. So the first band we are going to meet is called Ors, it's a French-Spanish band. And right now I'm just waiting for Mr. Stone, who is going to pick me up by car, and then we will hit the road. So yeah, let's do this! Oh, I think it's him. Hey, hey, Mofo! How you doing? Good, and you, man? Yeah, yeah, let's Re do this. Yeah, ready to hit the road? Hell yeah! First stop, Mr. Stone is putting some gas in. <gasps> ah, putain! Oh shit! You can do it, you can do it! Oh, oh! Come on! Yeah! yeah. There's one thing I forgot to tell you, it's where we are going. So we both come from Nantes and we are going a bit south of France uh, near, near Perigueux where Clément, the bassist of Ors, has a little studio and so that's where we are heading, yes! Are you hungry, Seb? Yeah, I'm really hungry, man. Yeah. I think I could eat a cow. It's time to eat uh, in a little town called Poitiers. We've never been there. Look at this. Nice Quite uh, pittoresque. I don't know if, <laughs> if this word exists in English, but yeah. Yeah, probably exists, but uh, probably another word. <laughs> So after 15 minutes of, walk, of walking, we stopped by in a kebab. The only thing open on a Sunday afternoon. Yep. So that's good. Bon appétit. Thanks. Merci, au revoir. Bonne journée, au revoir. Esperado a la noche 
We still have a few hours to go. Two. How many? Two. Two hours? Okay, let's go! Yeah. Hey, look at what I brung! A little woodpecker. Do you want to put it in? Yeah. It's a nice uh, little album, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Apparently we just arrived, we are just in front of a beautiful church. Let's wait for Clément now. And we just came in. Yeah. Here uh, is a little place. Hello! Hello everyone! Hello! Et bon appétit tout le monde Bon appétit bon <rire> Mashed potatoes and ham the Yes The best meal ever <rire> A stand for a fuzz It's a shitty fuzz It's okay. distorted later Yeah, but it's not a When you push it, it's, you crank it, it's uh, Becomes really a close fuzz. to a, a fuzz, to a fuzz. To a, okay. It's a fuzz museum Nice! <laughs> Whatever's needed to ruin the sound, we like it. <laughs> Always, Always more like fuzz. <laughs> this one is <laughs> really The look of it is incredible. Yeah. Arnold! And the first face. Classic Arnold. first face. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger! Schwarzenegger! Yeah. Yeah. Nice! <laughs> Testing out the beast! <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. It's just like a fucking big crusher. 
That's good. So are you using it using this for orcs? Uh, not yet. But I'm, I'm sure it will be used. Hundred <laughs> percent sure. You will find a way to use it. Hey, hey, morning, fuzzers. Hey. So, yesterday night uh, we had the time uh, to chat a bit with the guys. They are really cool dudes. Cool dudes. Yep. And uh, I think uh, we'll have the time uh, today to chat a bit more about, uh, with them uh, on the camera. So, I hope we'll have the time. Now we are in this uh, beautiful, beautiful place. It's uh, an old an, abbey. An old abbey, yes. Yeah. And uh, that's where the recording studio is. And yep, uh, just around the corner here. Yep, the light guy arrived already, and uh, now we're waiting for the sound guy. And uh, for today, it's mostly setup and rehearsals to be sure to get the perfect sound and images for the two days of recording tomorrow and the day after. Yep, here for three days, so we have the time uh, to. To spend time with the the horse guys, they are really nice dudes. So yeah, hope we will enjoy. I'm sure we will. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Currently setting up the lights for the room. It's looking good already. Trente balles ce truc. Damn. To get in the mood, you know. Dark music. 
Let's try something. <laughs> no, that would work. And now the soundboard. François, est-ce que tu peux jouer un peu, s'il te plaît Un poil plus How do you guys meet each other? Because we know Juanjo is Spanish, you guys are from France. Yep. Uh, yeah. How, how did this all place. came together? Yep. Well, Juanjo, uh, what, what, what do you do this. here? What's happening? What, what the hell fault. happened here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the hell? It's your fault. Well, uh, you're the blame. The I sun. also play in another band called Cranion, and uh, we were um, planning, uh, we wanted to tour France, so we got in touch with Clem. Yeah, and he had um, another <laughs> band uh, back then, and we came together. And uh, he, uh, we had a, a well, uh, had a issues in the band, you know. Yeah. And he ended up playing a bass with with us on that tour, and with his own band. And after that, he came uh, a new project, which is uh, ours. They had a um, really great, amazing songs uh, written instrumentally. And I said, okay, I, I can picture myself singing about this. And so uh, apparently Clément is doing uh, all the writing. writing of the musical part. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Instrumental part. Yeah. Yeah. So how how did the the album came up together? You you, you told us uh, last night that uh, it was yep. in a in a in a rush. You had to do yeah. it yeah. fast. <laughs> tell us tell us more about that. Yeah, the album was uh, ready and, and we were going to record everything with um, another band at first. Was, the album was planned for for another project and. At the last moment, things went not the right way. It probably wasn't the wrong. Uh, it was, I think, the wrong moment to, to record the album or whatever. Yeah. And we did it anyway. So everything was planned. The recording sessions were booked and everything. And two weeks before, we had a big meeting and we said, okay, we don't do it. So we had the album ready, had the music, we had no vocals, uh, no lyrics, nothing, no, uh, no drummer, no singer. Just <laughs> the two of Just us. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Uh, so, not enough. <laughs> what and, and, we do? And, yeah, we, we didn't want to, to cancel the booking for the, the drum recordings, so we contacted the album, which is here. Uh, he said yes without uh, listening yeah. to the music, and, and then he said fuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> but then he did anyway, he recorded the whole album. How much time did he, did he have? To I think it was about two weeks. Four months. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 Or two weeks. Come on. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. Think, wait. It was two weeks before the yeah the session before the session uh, yeah. like not easy drums no. yeah, 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 yeah and like some parts are yeah <laughs> no, it, it was a kind of challenge because I didn't play that kind of music since a long time 
Okay. So, um, so I was touring with a more pop uh, band. Mm -hmm. and, um, Fragile pop. And, uh, <laughs> Vulnerable <laughs> pop. <Fragile. laughs> and uh, well, Man. it's been a long time since I didn't play uh, okay. so loud. And uh, it, was, it was fun. We had a great time in recording the, the album. It was, yeah, it was, it was really such fun. a yeah. uh, yeah. crazy week. Maybe one or two days after, I said to Juanjo, okay, we're going to do the album anyway. Um, we don't have any vocals planned if you want to sing like on, on one or two tracks, whatever. Hmm. So he said, yeah, why not? I'm going to give it a try and then see what I can do. And like a few days after, he, he sent uh, an email back saying, you know what? I'm going to do the whole album. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, and also yep. the, the yeah, mastering uh, session was booked also. So we also had a yeah. deadline for the final product. So everything had to be done uh, two months after that. So basically he came to France one month after, working on, on the lyrics or whatever on his side. And, and, and we recorded the vocals uh, in like about 20, 20 days. 20, I think it was. Was 20, recording 20 and days. writing the lyrics yeah. and the vocals. Everything was... He came with and the ideas and yeah, and the mixing also. Yeah, yeah everything was yeah. like twenty days was for the whole finishing process. Which twenty was days and like nights, writing and, yeah. and recording. Days and, and, days and nights, man. Night yeah, and, and day. Yeah, it was quite intense. Why are you doing the session right now? The album was ready and then recorded. Um, yeah. The two of us basically, and, and album came after for the drums and then Juanjo, but we were not ready for the life. We just yeah. Yeah. had an album which was recorded and, and produced and mixed and everything, but. We had to make it so it worked. Like, yep. yeah. What is the plan for the future then? Do you have something coming up? World! <laughs> we want the world to come for us! <laughs> and we are coming for you! <laughs> Whatever. No, it's just having fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, playing as much as we can, of course. And of course. We have an, yeah, of, of course. course. <laughs> uh, say we always have, of course. We have an album on the way, like, it's, it's yep. just, like pre 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 production, whatever it is. but. It's uh, on the way for someday. So okay. yep. cool. No, it's gonna be. I, I maybe. Uh, maybe less intense. I don't know. Maybe we yeah, should. Uh, so. <laughs> he said that that maybe we should uh, do it the the, the 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 same way, the yes. same intense way, like like fucking. <laughs> Just wait until <laughs> the last the last <laughs> moment <laughs> to give you that. <laughs> With no. the deadline and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. I don't know. You're maybe used to it now. So. Yeah. 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 Easy now. It's <laughs> we need some <laughs> challenge to be productive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and no, deadlines are, are cool for productivity, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you plan on touring together? Yeah, uh, well, actually the, the session, I hope will help, help uh, find gigs. Yeah. Because we, because, yeah, we have just an album out and no videos of live, yep. whatever, mm -hmm. just really mm -hmm. fresh. So, so that's why you're doing it too. Yeah, yeah trying yeah. To, to promote Show uh, what yeah. we do mm. uh, live as a live band. So <laughs> if you want us, you know where to reach them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Let's Thanks, let's, let's let's go to Thank hit. You. Yeah. Yes. yes. Eat. And continue on this journey. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Et une bolognaise. Pizza, 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 pizza. You, you can give it to me if you want. So the guys did one song in the morning, and now it's time to eat some good pizzas. Yeah. So basically, the ending of um, Ours hours is um, we have 24 tracks of vocals going on at the same time. 24 tracks of vocals! 24! Are you crazy, dude? Yep! <laughs> I let myself go! And the guys are ready to go back at it. Let's roll!
discovered it uh, while watching a band playing on uh, KEXP, uh, Helms Alley, the band, um, and uh, we, we saw the amps and we're like, fuck, it looks just damn fine. <laughs> and, and we thought, okay, let, let's, and, and sounding amazing also, the live Helms Alley was really good on the KEXP, mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, let, let's check it out, and we found out these, these ones, the looks, and uh, it's, uh, it's a Siri. They, they yeah. So basically, Ben Verhelen is is uh, I'm sorry. He's playing uh, in the band Home uh, Study. He's a guitarist and singer. Okay. And his um, own brand is hi with his name Verhelen. And it's fucking amazing when we listen to to this one. We're like, okay, we need that <laughs> in our life <laughs> from now on. It's it's. And then I, I bought that one too, which is um, a custom made with um, a power amp down here. So I have my preamp here. I go in, in the power amp, which is included in, in the 6x10, and it sounds just amazing. Based in uh, Seattle, if I'm right, I think, or yeah. close to that, yeah. He's working and, uh, with brothers? With our brothers? Yeah, yeah, with uh, his brother. Yeah. And you, 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 you don't have any problem um, having both guitarists using the same head? Uh, well, actually, I, I was a little bit concerned by that, but uh, I know Red Fang does the same, the mm -hmm. same with um, um, some uh, Sun lead, I think. Um, and well, I thought it was, it, I thought it could work because I know they, some bands do that, and then we tried, and yeah, it, it's definitely working really well. The, the yeah, different guitars and then type of pickups. The EQ is really powerful and really oh, versatile, yeah. so um, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. really change the, yeah. the tone. It is snowing, guys! Ah, no. The perfect timing yeah, yeah. for recordings! Yes! At least you're not recording outside. Oh, maybe it could be cool. Could be, yeah. But a bit cool. Not. <laughs> not that cool. No. We are not Sasquatch. Sasquatch <laughs> will be perfect for this one. But we are not. I love the crunch from Tony and him. The Abbey in the Snow. No. That. <laughs> 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 Well done! How did you come up with the, the name of the band and uh, the, the old concept uh, of the, uh, the album? We, we took uh, old books. Uh, yeah, old French, old, like old French books, uh, like uh, dictionaries, but for old old words. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we had ma many options, and then we found that one, like uh, ours. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it's uh, it means ours, which is bear. Yeah. In, in old French. French, in old French, it's yeah. not used anymore. But from that came the idea, the the concept of the of the album. Basically, yeah. yeah. So we had the band name, an idea of. of uh, Wanted to go against all the the usual sand we can find in, in that kind of music, yeah. the desert and, and all that. And yeah. um, I mean, yeah. you know, Dreamleaf is doing obviously also forest uh, yeah. themed. Uh, mm -hmm. Some bands do that. But we thought like, okay, yeah, let's try something in, in, in that vein also. When, uh, maybe maybe because of uh, what's around you here. 
Uh, yeah, lots yeah, of forest, yeah, not yeah, so much of desert. Rain and forest. Yeah. 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 One for you was 100% free on the lyric. It, it was interesting for me because I always sang in Spanish and I thought myself, oh, I, I, I think in Spanish, I can speak fluently, more or less fluently in English, but I think in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So I always, I should, uh, my lyrics from my other projects I wrote it in Spanish. So, what the hell? These guys from, come from bands that are singing in English, so I'm gonna try to find a new round. I'm mm. gonna sing sometimes in Spanish, sometimes in English, and I tried kind of the I did experiments of uh, mixing even two languages in, the, in in one song. Yeah, yeah, it works. So yeah. I think it was, it's interesting. Mm. It's interesting. Mm. And uh, we we were ready for that because we toured with Cranion yeah. and. Uh, Ben de la Muerte, Ben de who will yeah. sing in Spanish too, yeah. Yeah. which is not really common in France. Yeah, and, and, and so they gave me, well, it, you have actually 100% freedom, and it was like that till the, till the end. And said, so here's the titles, go. <laughs> Alsis, for example. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I did a research on, on every animal. Because there's more than uh, a few animals involved, you know, and mm -hmm. the wolves, alces. So I, I did a research on, on what's the, the, the beyond the first, the actual uh, nature of the animal, mm -hmm. how they are socially, how they, was there maybe their social strengths or something? They, they right. are they uh, a, a more family, more independent, more mm -hmm. ma many things, and then mythologically as symbols, yeah. you know. Uh, some for many cultures, this animal symbolizes this kind of feelings, this kind of um, uh, you know, yeah, this kind of spirit, this kind of energy, this kind of. So I try to make that and get uh, sometimes step into the shoes. The whole album is, uh, let's say, human-less. Yeah. There's, mm. there's no human involved. Uh, so it's only. From the green, from the from the green and from the animals. You, you doesn't talk about uh, the the effect of the human it has on the nature. Well, it's uh, just 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 pure yeah, nature. Yeah, and well, yeah. nature. Actually, the, the point is yeah. to, to to point at, at humans for for yes. spraying the nature and, and all yeah. that. But yeah. without without having the humans involved yes. in the album at all, that's it's like mm. it's that's humanness. Uh, but still, there, there is something yeah. that is doing wrong. Yeah. So yeah. the animals just. See something is wrong and, and yeah. there's a problem. And they don't see humans. They don't see the problem. Yeah. Just yeah. They feel yeah, threatened. We, we are being destroyed and, and, and killed, but we don't know by what. Yeah. And we don't know why it's happening. We don't know what's going on. So but does all that relate with uh, the artwork you got? I'm following um, an artist from the uh, USA, yeah. which is uh, Aria Phone, or, or She Paints with Love. Yeah. Uh, she's a, a painter and uh, she's really into nature and animals. The, the center point of all her drawings and paintings are animals, mm -hmm. or creatures, mm -hmm. uh, mystical creatures, really weird with uh, long, yeah. long horns and, and mm. weird shapes. Mm. And, and yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, mm. and amazing colors. And I, I, I followed her on, on, on the internet, and I, I was in love with uh, her style. And, and I made her uh, do um, a drawing for for this uh, tattoo. <laughs> before the, the artwork for for ours, okay. and I was in touch with her, and I was like, okay, yeah, we go for forests and then animals. Yeah. It was really obvious that we needed to go with her. So I, I gave her the information about the themes, the themes, and, and the names of the tracks, and I, I think I sent her the tracks also, so she could listen to it. Lyrics. Yeah, no, no lyrics, no, 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 no lyrics. lyrics. Yes, yeah, just yeah. Uh, properly. And so the the theme for the next album is it defined yet? Will it still be nature? Uh -huh. or? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um, Maybe in another way. We're in the middle of, of thinking about that and finding a way to make it work. We, we have some, something we want to do, but we don't know if it's uh, um, a good idea or if it can fit. And yeah. basically, we have some of the tracks for the next album, <coughs> uh, which are still work in progress. But um, they are really inspired by uh, Twin Peaks in a way. Yeah. So I was writing the songs and watching the series and, and I'm like, okay, and falling in love with it so much. I was like, shit, I'd love to, to have that in, yeah. in, in our music. Yeah, so we, we are thinking about maybe having some tracks 
related to that. I don't, we don't know in which way yet. It, it, maybe it's not going to happen. We have no clue. No, no, maybe yeah. it's a completely opposite thing. <laughs> <laughs> but right yeah, now but it's, it's one of the, well, yeah. the, the writing process of the yeah. instrumentals were definitely inspired yeah, by Yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. What it will happen next, I don't know. But, and the lyrics and vocals, I don't know what will happen. Well, we, we will come back to find out. Uh, yes! yes. Great. <laughs> as, in, as they say in Twin Peaks, you bet. You <laughs> bet. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Thanks, Thanks to you guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you a lot. Yes, sir. Bravo! Merci. Merci. Ah bah non, mais t'as bien fait. <rire> On voit les pros. On voit les pros, les gars. Merci. Bravo. Oh, okay guys, I think uh, it's uh, the end uh, of the episode, so here is the crew! Yeah. Yeah. And uh, thank you guys for welcoming us, and uh, yeah, I think we spent a good time. Yeah. Let's hope it's, okay. uh, it is the first episode of a long series. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, straight wheel. Yeah, but thank you guys, this one's gonna be the best. At least until the second. So, so yeah. far, so, <laughs> so far is the best. That's no doubt. Sure. Yeah. No doubt. Okay, rock on, anyway, guys. Thank Thanks, guys. Yes. Cheers. 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 Et là en fait là c'est Yumi et là c'est Meiko en fait ça Donc Yumi diffuse, diffuse des, euh, des phéromones des qui attirent tous les animaux <rire> C'est pour ça que tous euh, à la suite hein, vont euh, coïter euh, du verbe coïter euh, vont coïter le, le petit écureuil hein. Est-ce que ce serait pas justement une, une, tu vois, une allégorie de, de, de Yumi tu vois, en, en rouge qui est poursuivi par tout le monde et Meiko est dernier c'est pour ça qu'il gueule parce qu'il sait que tout le monde va passer avant quoi y compris l'ours <rire> donc il se dit ah non merde et, et même le petit hibou là ouais.